A panhandle couple is excited to share the culmination of a year's worth of hard work with a one-of-its-kind Halloween display. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, the public is invited to enjoy a larger-than-life Halloween show on the west edge of Scotts Bluff. Chris and Stormy Hayward explain how this display came to be. A few years ago, my wife and I started uh, decorating for Halloween, and it kind of exploded, especially over the last year. Last year, we wanted to do something kind of special. Um, you know, COVID was still going on, and we wanted a lot of people to have something you can go out and just drive by and experience. And last year, I got my idea to start on a pirate ship and spent about a year planning it. And during that year, I spent a lot of time thinking and researching and looking at a lot of other people's projects they have done. Um, I was trying to think of a way to get it built quickly, and um, I finally came upon the idea that a gooseneck trailer is very much in similar shape of a pirate ship, so that is actually what the frame is of the pirate ship. And once the trailer was in place, it was time to start making the pirate ship the front and center piece of the display. Um, we kind of built some framing around it. Um, mostly used two by fours and uh, wall paneling for the exterior of it. And um, a lot of, uh, as far as the light show and the electronics go, that was, I spent a lot of time researching that and, um, and spent a few weeks programming it. And that's kind of how it came to be. The end product is a nearly 10 minute show involving a pirate ship, animatronics, smoke machines, and music, and plans to continue adding on in the future. You know what, that's the plan, and honestly, we're gonna be continue adding on until Christmas. Um, you know, probably not a lot, but details is kind of what makes it kind of separated from, you know, you know, being good to hopefully, you know, being something that uh, is a neat experience for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, we hope to add to it next year. Um, it should, you know, we're, we put it together in a way that we should be able to assemble it quicker and have more time for other projects next year. The display is located just north of the Riverview Golf Course on County Road 19, with the show running on a loop starting at 7 p.m. Uh, there's an open field that is just to the north here um, set for parking. Um, we encourage people to actually get out of their car and we have a pathway going to the front of the ship. Um, that way you can get a close-up view of it and watch the whole 10-minute show. It's, it's a little bit safer. Um, and then being on the road, if you are driving by on the road, um, the music sound effects are being transmitted uh, on 90.5 FM. And after spending about an hour on site there this week, I would highly recommend bringing the family out, parking your car, and enjoying the show. It's something you just have to experience firsthand. A little more news right after this. Tired of feeling stuck? Not sure if you are on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help keep your finances moving forward with checking account options to fit your lifestyle and an online account chooser to make finding the right account easy. Control your financial future with helpful budgeting tools and automatic savings plans. Now is the time to enjoy the ride with Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. Life care promises us that we are looked after and taken care of properly. If I didn't have life care, I would be probably scared to death about having enough money uh, for when I got older or when I got sick. Moving in here was uh, an easy decision and in fact, uh, a no brainer. I looked at it as actually buying long-term care insurance and in retrospect, uh, a good move. One of the things that convinces me that we did the right thing is, no matter what happens, we will constantly be taken care of. The whole thing is, is just vital because you don't have to be worried about what's ahead for you. It's there, it's in black and white, and that's reassuring. This is home, it has been, uh, from the day I moved in. Welcome back. 
Schools across the region participating in the annual emergency response drill, including Thursday morning at Scottsdale High School. Students were told to lock the door, turn off the lights, close the blinds, and get on the floor. That's the protocol in the event of an actual emergency in the area. Scottsdale students were then ushered out of the building with their teacher, exited the school, left the high school campus, and proceeded to reconvene at Bearcat Stadium. On the law enforcement and first responder side, they will meet with school officials and determine areas in which the response was appropriate and others which may need improvement. Well, Western Nebraska Community College's Positively Pink Breast Cancer Awareness Site will be next Friday at the WNCC Volleyball Match versus NJC. Amy Winter says it's a white pink out and they are selling shirts again and all proceeds will be going to the Festival of Hope. The ordering is online with a deadline to order this Sunday, October 16th at midnight, and will be ready by the 20th. A link to purchase Positively Pink Apparel can be found by finding this story on KNEB.com. And Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson and the Nebraska State Patrol have announced a new local hotline designated for the public to report suspected sex trafficking or labor trafficking. The Nebraska Human Trafficking Hotline is designed to receive tips on possible human trafficking and quickly direct the information to local investigators. Tips can be made anonymously and go directly to the Nebraska Information Analysis Center, a division of NSP. The trafficking hotline number can be reached 24 hours a day by calling 833-PLS-LOOK. Well, still to come, Shabella Guzman and her final Fridays in the Field of 2022. Welcome to Kelly's, home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor, if you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking. Fly United Airlines, operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver, along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today, and remember, United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be quiet here across the high plains as we go through the evening hours tonight. Temperatures are going to fall down into the 40s overnight, a comfortable evening again. It'll be breezy and cooler tomorrow. Winds, I think, are going to decrease starting Sunday and through most of next week, not have nearly as strong winds. And temps are going to be near to maybe slightly above normal at times. And Still don't see anything coming in the precip department, unfortunately. We do have red flag warnings that continue to be in effect for the area. A large portion of southern Nebraska into southeastern Wyoming, northeastern Colorado, and most of Kansas underneath uh, those red flag warnings. They continue through this evening here for portions of the southern portions of our region. Yesterday, we hit 66 right at average for this time of year after a morning low that was 39, about right where we should be this time of year as well. What's not been near normal is precip. Uh, the month here so far of October has been pretty close, but we're now five and a third inches short for the year. And as you could see yesterday, right at a normal high, we've had more days at or very close to above normal, a couple of days there uh, below normal. And precip has been uh, pretty limited here for the last uh, six or seven days. We got another six or seven days. I don't think of much coming in the way of precip. Nothing happened in there. Look at the next seven days in terms of precip. Very little coming. Now, the wind's going to be a little different story. We will see, uh, I think, some breezy conditions tomorrow, probably again portions of next week, uh, late in the week. But the first part of the week, at least winds are coming down and we Certainly don't have winds up here in this category that we did yesterday. We had gusts yesterday to 55 miles an hour here in Scotts Bluff. Well, heading out to a football forecast tonight, not bad. We're going to see temps around 60 at kickoff into the 50s by the fourth quarter, so not much uh, to complain about. Another day 
with uh, this uh, cold air entrenched off to the north and east of us. That cold air remains up there, but what we're going to see happen here over the next couple of days is we're going to see this cold air make a retreat uh, along a cold front that's going to come back door into our region. That's going to drop us down tomorrow and bring some of those cooler temperatures that are off to the north of us back into our air. It's not going to drop us a ton, but maybe 10 degrees tomorrow over where we were today. And you'll notice that cool air not too far away is Valentine right now at 59 degrees. Winds have been, again, another strong windy day out of the northwest at 15 to 20 miles an hour, and we've had gusts 30 to 35 plus, even over 40 occasionally at times today. And another windy day coming again tomorrow, at least breezy. I don't think it'll be as windy. Today wasn't as windy as yesterday, and tomorrow probably not going to be as windy as today. But a lot of clouds coming across the area tonight. And along that frontal system, we can't rule out a few sprinkles and showers. I think uh, the models here may be overdoing it a little bit, but through tomorrow morning, we have clouds hanging on. And again, can't rule out a light sprinkle or shower. Chances are going to be pretty slim as this system backs away from us. And as we go into Sunday, we'll be left with clearing skies and really a much nicer day coming Sunday than tomorrow. Lows overnight in the 30s and 40s, highs tomorrow, 50s and 60s. And as far as precip, if we get a little out of this, it's going to be a few hundreds at most. And again, that's going to come mostly during the day tomorrow. Tonight, partly cloudy early. We'll have clouds increase as we go overnight. Wind's not too bad in that 5 to 10 mile an hour range. Tomorrow, it's going to be overcast, breezy as well. Wind's 15 to 25. Going to see some higher gusts out there. Our seven-day forecast after the breezy conditions uh, let up a little bit. I think Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday of next week, we slowly start to rebound 60s to start the week, 70s by the end of the week and a fairly nice seven day forecast in store for us here for mid-October. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing. We do two pictures just like we've done in the past, one straight down and one from the side. But it's better in the fact that they're going to get called back less. There's greater accuracy and it's a lot easier to find it in dense breasts. A woman should start getting their mammos at age 40 every year, and one in eight people get breast cancer, so it's the best way to find it is early detection. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. We're back in Gurley, Nebraska for our final Friday in the Field, brought to you by FNBO, your great big small bank. It's October and Roland Rushman of Gurley is taking stock of his crops from the brutal summer. Roland, tell us how have the crops come along this year? Well, so far, I don't think anything has come along very good. I haven't seen uh, more than probably 20 percent of normal on dry land crops on clear across the board this fall planted wheat uh, spring planted crops uh, early and late it didn't matter it's uh, just all either lost or the ones that are salvageable about 20 percent irrigated wise uh, once again i think the top end is going to be down 20% from normal and the bottom end is probably down 50%. Now I know you also have dry edible pea crop which suffered from frost and hail. How did they fare? Uh, we didn't harvest uh, about 25-30% of our peas and the other 75% uh, probably shouldn't have harvested but they were 
registered peas for seed production. So we did go ahead and combine them, but we got six to eight bushel per acre. Rollin, sorry to hear about that. But getting back to wheat, I've heard talk about farmers dusting in their wheat crop. What are you hearing? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's dusting in and hoping for the best. There's a few fields that have enough moisture. The wheat is coming up. And the only problem is there's nothing to sustain it. So uh, with some luck, we could have some wheat next year, but it's going to take some luck. Thanks for joining me in Rolland Rushman in Cheyenne County this summer. Until next summer, I'm Chabella Guzman, and this is Fridays in the Field, sponsored by FNBO, the great big small bank. Take a peek at what's happening on your weekend community calendar. The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. 
You deserve to have a building that will last for generations. With more than 110 years of experience and thousands of satisfied customers, Morton Buildings is the industry leader you can trust. If you're planning for a garage, farm shop, horse barn, storage building for your RV, boat, or collectibles, there's no better time to buy. Contact your local Morton sales office or visit mortonbuildings.com to get started today. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally tonight, Community Christian School and Riverstone Bank have partnered on the very first student-led bank branch to be opened inside a Panhandle school. Eagle River Bank opened Thursday morning in the CCS Gymnasium with fifth grade student tellers taking opening deposits, which included an incentive of a small piggy bank for each child, as well as a matching deposit of up to $5 added to their new savings account. Riverstone Bank Nebraska Market President Doug Cowes told KNB News the branch will help the kids learn about saving money and how banks truly operate. I think a lot of people tend to think this is money, this is what we use for money. What you see behind me going on where the kids are learning how to deposit, where the tellers are learning how to help that transaction, really is important that the kids understand there's tangible money involved. And we really want them to understand the importance of starting a savings habit rather than spending, because it's very easy to spend. Once opened, the accounts remain active through fifth grade or until a student leaves the school, and there are incentives as the kids hit weekly benchmarks of consistency of savings. At their fifth grade graduation, each saver will be presented with a check for the amount in their Eagle River account, and the account will then be closed. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you back here on Monday.